In the past, foreign scientists regarded Mars as a geologically inert planet due to its smaller size compared to Earth, which caused it to lose internal heat more rapidly. However, evidence suggests that Mars was once geologically active, with significant volcanic eruptions leaving traces on its surface. Among these is Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, visible from Earth even through amateur telescopes. Despite this activity, volcanic eruptions ceased long ago as Mars' interior cooled and solidified, resulting in a weakened magnetic field. Subsequently, the solar wind stripped away much of the atmosphere, leading to the freezing of remaining water. Recently, Mars has shown signs of renewed geological activity. Astronomers analyzed thousands of images of the Martian equatorial region captured between 2006 and 2020 by the NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. These images, taken at an altitude of 300 kilometers, revealed numerous landslides and debris flows on the slopes of Martian volcanoes. Researchers identified over four and a half thousand rock formations with characteristic patterns resembling Christmas trees, suggesting seismic activity comparable to strong earthquakes. Some of these formations, spanning a total of around 900 kilometers, were absent from images prior to 2006, indicating recent formation. The discovery of these formations suggests powerful underground tremors, previously unseen on Mars. This newfound geological activity is evidenced by seismic data collected by the InSight spacecraft since 2018. Although Mars experiences far fewer tremors compared to Earth, recent events, including a magnitude 5 Mars quake, indicate ongoing tectonic processes. While Mars remains inhospitable with extreme cold, radiation, and lack of liquid water, understanding its geological activity may provide insights into its past and potential habitability. Certainly, here's a revised version of the text. Absence of familiar creatures like elephants, tigers, or even mice is evident on the Martian surface. Such harsh conditions would swiftly render them unsustainable, easily detectable through telescopes or rovers. However, the microscopic world tells a different story. Microorganisms, known for their resilience in extreme, earthly conditions, might thrive on Mars, especially in its warmer depths shielded from fatal radiation. The recent revelation of subsurface lakes on Mars sparks excitement, hinting at the presence of liquid water, a vital ingredient for life as we know it. In 2018, radar instruments aboard the Mars Express spacecraft detected a significant underground lake near the planet's southern pole, alongside three smaller adjacent bodies of water. Covering an area exceeding 75,000 square kilometers within the plain of Austral, a vast ice-covered plain. Subsequently, in 2022, instruments aboard the ExoMars orbiter unveiled massive reserves of frozen or liquid water within Valles Marineris canyons, concealed within the equatorial canyon system. Spanning an area comparable to the Netherlands and situated near the planet's surface. Similar subglacial lakes in Antarctica have been found to harbor microbial life forms, suggesting a possibility for Mars. However, despite some retained heat from the planet's interior, potentially insufficient to melt the ice, these lakes might remain frozen due to high salt concentrations, rendering them hostile to life. To comprehend this, scientists are probing the composition of water in these underground reservoirs while exploring desiccated surface water bodies, remnants of a warmer, watery past on Mars. In 2022, the Perseverance rover unearthed a groundbreaking discovery, organic molecules near ancient water sources, marking a significant find in a region ripe for life. Situated within the 45-kilometer wide Jezero crater, the delta formed approximately 3.5 billion years ago, accumulating sedimentary layers over time. Perseverance, equipped with the Sherlock instrument designed for identifying organic compounds, extracted a substantial quantity of Martian organic molecules from this site, suggesting a potential link to past biological activity. Similar to Earth, where fossils and sedimentary rocks provide insights into ancient life, Martian sedimentary formations might hold clues to its past inhabitants. The detection of hydrogen atoms bonded to carbon, a vital element for life, adds weight to the possibility of biological processes occurring on Mars. Considering these advancements and potential discoveries, the question arises, could there have been life on Mars in the past? If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you.